Hey everybody, what is up? Gary Simon here. So today we're going to check out seven different examples of what I personally deem great topography that you can find on websites or user interfaces. Uh, so a lot of these have interesting font pairings. Uh, a lot of them have font pairings that are between serif and sans serif fonts. I'm going to use one of my favorite uh, browser extensions called What Font uh, to identify what fonts people are using. And we're just gonna check out these websites together and see how they're using topography in interesting and really effective ways. Now, as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, before we begin, if you're interested in learning UI UX design, you should definitely check out designcourse.com where I've recently launched a platform that is interactive for learning UI UX design. So of course, there's over 16 hours of videos in which you're going to learn. There's also interactive user interface challenges and there's also mentorship from me, which you can add on optionally to your membership. So definitely check it out. There are parity pricing, there's discounts, top link in the YouTube description. Let's get started. All right, so let's start with the very first one and that is evergreen.com. What a great domain name. All right, so we have some type of interesting animation over here, but I really like this type for the hero section, um, even using italic and let's uh, scroll down just to see what else is happening. It looks like it's the same font pairing all around. I don't really like this section so much. I don't like the slightly indented call to action. I think the, the, the type is a little bit too large, but overall, I really like this font pairing, um, especially if we take a look at this section up here. Um, it, 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 of course, as you can see, there's two different fonts and we can also see they're also adjusting the, uh, the contrast between the two. Uh, so these three elements here all work well together. So I'm gonna be using um, the what font extension. And you just hover over type and it tells you exactly the name. If you click on it, it also shows you, uh, you know, the family, the style, the weight, all this good stuff. All right, um, so the, the headline here is play fair display and then also Poppins underneath. I, of course, everybody knows that's like my favorite font. Um, so let's continue on with another example, number two, and this is an Australian site. So this is more of a, one of those trendy modern sort of approaches uh, where they kind of just break outside of the, uh, the conventional norm with massive uh, headline text here, as we can see. But also one thing I do kind of like about it is I, uh, there is a secondary font that you'll see scattered throughout in just really small uh, places. And that is that font right down here, which is ABC Monument Grotesque Mono. Um, also, this is uh, N Haas Grotesque DS Pro. Crazy font names. But I like this the type that's been situated down here on the left side of these cards. Very cool scroll based animations. So yeah, overall very modern, sophisticated uh, approach here to the topography, which I like. Next up, of course it's not something you wanna do for every project. All right, this one's here is pretty cool. We have uh, a sort of scroll activated um, movement as well as I uh, masking that's been applied or clip mask uh, in CSS to the type. Really like this approach. And then if we click on it, we also have some other great examples of type as well. All right, so this two column approach right here. Very cool font right here. What is that? That's Chronicle Display. And then this is SF Pro Text Medium underneath. Very, very nice topography all around. Next up, number four, radicalhealth.com. All right, so I really like this font. It's not one I've ever seen before. I, it's a serif font, Nib Pro with Factum. It, this almost looks like a Poppins down here as well, or Montserrat or something like that. I, nice type right here, same type that we're using above, except it's not bold this time, it's larger. And then we have that, it's probably factum underneath, yep. Uh, and then Nib Pro bold down here. Uh, so we have four different pieces of type here and we can see the, the visual hierarchy has been established between all of them. They're all styled differently. Very solid here. 
a little subhead that's factum, nib pro, factum, factum. Really like this section as well down here. Uh, again, same type that's being used, nib pro, factum, and then nib pro, factum. All established well, good typographic visual hierarchy. Next up is blank theory. Let's check this one out. All right. So if we scroll down, this is an actual video. I really like this section right here. Let me scroll up a little bit. There we go. Zoom up. I so we have actually five pieces uh, of type that's occurring here. Um, we have these little extended tracking uh, labels above. Very, obviously very small, um, and what that essentially means uh, is it's the least amount of, of importance. Uh, so the smaller you make something, the lesser it falls on that uh, the ladder of visual hierarchy or your priority. Stop popping up, you stupid app, there. <laughs> uh, so then we have the, the headline, so that's two. We have another title, a subtitle, that's uh, four, and then five finally. But it's all done quite well. I really like this section in terms of the topography. Next up, number six. All right, we're in an airplane. Again, that same movement up with the clip path, uh, a clip clipping uh, property. Oh, notice the uh, the vertical text right here. Spinning spherical circular text right here. Very cool. All right, so they're using contrast as well for these sections. Let's take a look at the font. Oswald, all right, very popular, as well as Open Sans, both very popular fonts that are available on Google, fonts.google.com. And then last but not least, we have greenassetswallet.io. Really like this font pairing. This is I uh, Reckless New and DM Sans. So let's scroll down here. Really like this section. We have a call to action up here, and you'll see this theme throughout um, with this headline, subheadline that was already been established. Very nice. Again, using contrast, that way you hover over it, it brings us into focus. Notice the little micro interaction on the read article. You hover over it. Really changes up the appearance, but it's quick and fast, and I would say effective. Again, great section of topography here. This is all type essentially, just with some high contrast borders. Sophisticated, love it. So all in all, great examples of topography here. All right, everybody, hopefully you found that interesting. And topography is one of those things that can either make or break your design. You could have all the other aspects and UI design fundamentals really structured solid, but if your type is not on point, it can just ruin the entire design. And that's the case with many of the things. You can have illustrations, which can really kill the, the quality of the design. Uh, if your contrast is incorrect, if your white space is incorrect, so topography is just one of those pillars of design that you have to get right. So anyhow, make sure to subscribe, check out designcourse.com, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.